You're listening to The Manning Report with your host, James David Manning. The news behind the headlines. I am making my announcement on this 1st of July, the year 2019, uh, to run for president of the Berthas. Now, the Berthas is the uh, organization of movement that got started back in 2007, um, indicating that Barack Hussein, the long-legged Mac Daddy Obama, was not born in Hawaii, as stated, uh, but was born in Kenya, as testified by his grandmother, the mother of Barack Hussein Obama Sr., testified that she was the midwife of Obama's birth in the woods outside of the major cities of Kenya. We'll forget which one it is at present. And that started an investigation uh, into Obama's eligibility to be the president of the United States of America. And ultimately a birth certificate that was forged and doctored uh, was presented to the world by Obama on April the 13th, the year 2010, uh, in an attempt to validate that he was born in America. He was not. And the birth of movement persisted until his uh, second term ended. But I'm here today because um, we had it once, I think, the birth of Queen, which was, uh, and, and, and the birth of Princes, uh, Dr. Orly Tates was the birth of queen, and Mickey Booth was the birth of princess. Um, and I was a high-ranking member in the birth of movement. But I believe that both of those persons, uh, the Orly Tates that is standing beside me there in the purple suit, and Mickey Booth standing there with the black uh, suit on, the only two women in that group, and all of these persons in this photo were Bertha's. Uh, we had the Bertha Queen and the Bertha Princess. And I believe that both the Bertha Queen and Princess and all these other Berthas, except Dr. Wiley Drake, have gone ahead now and uh, accepted Tribulation Trump validation of Obama when he validated Obama, saying that Obama was born in Hawaii as stated that they all capitulated and they, I believe, have left the birth of movement. But I want to reunite the birth of movement uh, because of this statement that was brought out this past week by former President Jimmy Carter, who stated that Tribulation Trump, known as Donald Trump, uh, is not a legitimate president because he was put in power, not by Kenya, but also by a foreign nation called Russia. Now, I want you to hear the words of former President Jimmy Carter make this statement, and I'll be back with more dialogue. Russia has been proven by our intelligence community to have interfered with one of our human rights, which is the right of free and fair elections. Yes. What's your reaction? How, how should we deal with Russia? Well, the president himself should condemn it, admit that it happened, which I think 16 of intelligence agencies have already agreed to, do, to say. And uh, there's no doubt that the Russians did interfere in the election. And I think the interference, although not yet quantified, uh, if fully investigated, would show that Trump didn't actually win the election in 2016. He lost the election, and he was put into office because the Russians interfered on his behalf. So do you believe President Trump is an illegitimate president? <laughs> Based on what I just said, which I can't retract. <laughs> so there you have it, my friend, the former president, Jimmy Carter, stating uh, to the world that he believes that uh, Tribulation Trump is an illegal president. Now, I have been saying this for quite some time, and I'm going to retract and restate my statements regarding uh, why I know, not do I believe, but why I know Tribulation Trump is not a legitimate president. But now we've got someone of the caliber, someone of the caliber of Jimmy Carter, President Jimmy Carter, who's also making the same statement. 
We're also going to find out when Robert Mueller testifies on the 17th of July that the Mueller report shows in the collusion segment of part one also that tribulation Trump was put in office by Russia and therefore he is an illegal president. Now I have to tell you that it's been a long time since I posted up anything uh, or tweeted anything that has gotten as many people angry as the tweet I sent out yesterday stating that finally someone has stated of high caliber uh, and have agreed with me that Tribulation Trump is not the legal president of the United States of America. People went off the rails uh, calling me names and uh, people who once actually financially supported, not only just listen, but financially supported. But I struck a nerve deep down inside of the valley of truth when I put that up and they know it and they are praying that nobody else will pick this up and run with it that Tribulation Trump is the illegal president. But let me just go over a couple of facts here. First of all, I want to be the president of the birthers and the campaign is underway. Now, I don't know how many people will vote for me will say that uh, or people that would also run against me. Because most of the people that were once birthers have become rank, unbelievable hypocrites. The very same passion that they pursued Obama with until they could pursue him no more because he was illegal. But when Tribulation Trump, a lying, rapist, con man, said that Obama was legit, they all dropped the birth of movement and jumped on the Trump train. What hypocrites. I also pointed out that these J5 people have a double standard. They pursued Obama like he stole something from their mama. But Trump, they let him get away with being one of the most despicable degenerate persons that have ever walked upright on planet Earth. And he can't help himself. Trump is a con man that cannot be, he can't help himself. He can't rehabilitate Trump. He's a degenerate, a pathological liar. That can, and they love him. 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 And they can't get enough of him. Which says to me that there is something demonic about this uh, that these people can be such hypocrites to go after Obama. And the demonic aspect of it is a racial de de demon because they believe that Trump is white and Obama is black. We'll come back to that as well. But I, I want to be the president because I want to rekindle the movement. I want to restart the birth of movement now that we've got the second illegitimate president. And some of you have been listening to me for some time might make note of the fact that I said that the uh, Obama being the illegitimate president and until he was actually demonstrated to be illegal and unqualified to be president and Hillary Clinton be put in the place as the runner up to that event that we could never have a legitimate president because the premises and the foundation of the, the outgoing president was illegal and any incoming president, anybody other than Hillary Clinton would be illegal. Now you'll notice that Hillary Clinton, and the world, whether you like this or not, I don't, I'm not a Hillary supporter. I would never support her. I'm not a Bill supporter. I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a Bill Clinton supporter. I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a liberal. I'm not any of those persons, leftists or whatever they are. But I have to tell you, Almighty God uh, said that not that Hillary would have been a great president or that she was worthy or that even a woman should preside over America, but he said that she was the legitimate one that should have won during the days of Obama. Hillary Clinton should have won the presidency uh, from Obama rather than Obama. And you'll notice coming right back again as, as God is speaking to America that Hillary Clinton also lost by a hair's breadth to tribulation Trump. So you see in both of these instances, the legal president should have been 
Hillary Clinton, not tribulation Trump, and not Barack Obama. In both of these instances, now you may not believe that God said that to me. You may not believe anything I say. You don't have to. It does not matter that you does not believe. All I ask for you to do is listen. I said dialogue a few moments ago. This is going to be a monologue. But now listen, I have been a Bertha for nearly 12 years. I want to rekindle the Bertha movement. I want to point uh, myself as a person running for the presidency. Others may run against me if there are any Berthas left. Now, most of the Berthas were j people, and most of them have now gone on with this public degenerate, this most despicable character, this unrehabilitative con man, Tribulation Trump, and they love him. They love him. But the same thing that Obama did, they hated Obama, but they loved Trump for doing the exact same thing. Go figure. Well, I can figure for it. It's flat out, flat footed, show enough, stomp down, boom shakalaka, just pure racism. That's all it is, my brother. That's all it is. That's just all it is. That's all it is. The very thing that they pursued, Orly Tates took Obama. Uh, to court in Georgia and in California and every place else she could persecute him but has not raised an ire or a voice against the white boy, Tribulation Trump. It's just racism. That's all that it is. It's just racism. Not to mention that all it takes is Russian born. She's, she's born over there in Belarus, I think, or somewhere in the Ukraine around the Russian perimeter of the Soviet Union, of which now holds mega power over Tribulation Trump. We'll come back to that as well. But I'm running today. I'm running. I'm off and running for president of the Berthas. One other thing I'd like to say to you as well is that I held a trial demonstrating in 2010 that Obama was not the legitimate president. It's called the, the CIA Columbia Obama Sedition and Treason trial of which these people that you see uh, that we had put, put it up, posted up early were participants and attended that trial and were a part of that trial and a part of that experience. But let me further state to you that logically, these people that were birthers, if they were true to their own conscience, if they were true in any way to their own selves, then they would have to admit that any president who builds on the foundation of an illegal president is not a legal president either. Let me recap that for you, because this is the most, the most ridiculous thing I've ever witnessed in a group of white people. And that is this. Now listen to me very carefully. These same people, these birthers declared under oath before God with their hands on the Bible, they declared that Obama was an illegitimate president. They declared that. They gave their lives for it, that Obama was an illegitimate president. Okay, then if Obama's illegitimate and he runs and, and wins two terms as illegitimate, if that matter is not corrected, any other president cannot be president until the illegitimacy of the Obama presidency is corrected in step Donald Trump. And here's what he does. Donald Trump, who was the president of the Berthas, all he takes was the queen, Mickey Booth was the, pre the princess, in steps Donald Trump and himself legitimizes Obama's presidency because even Donald Trump himself as lewd as he is, knew that his president would be meaningless if he continued to say that Obama was illegitimate. He knows, he knew himself. There is no way Trump could be a legal president if he had continued to say that Obama was illegal. You can't get from the negative to the positive. You got to undo the negative in order to get to the positive. And he knew it. And he, that's why he made that statement. And that's why everybody has gone ahead and said that Obama's legitimate. They know he's not legitimate, but they want Trump to be illegitimate. But it is, it is legally impossible. Not to mention what Jimmy Carter says, but it is legally impossible for Trump to be president. Now, you will notice that, ironically, 
that the person that ran against both of these illegal presidents are Hillary Clinton. I'm not a Hillary Clinton supporter. I gave her the name of Jezebel. I'm not a Bill Clinton supporter. I am not a Democrat. I'm not an Obama supporter. I'm not a member of the NAACP. I'm not a member of the African American group. I'm not a member of any of that. I'm not a liberal. I'm not any of that. But my friends, the president that succeeded uh, George Bush is Hillary Clinton. Now, they're trying to get Kamala Harris, who also, according to Raphael Suleiman, is not black either. But I'll say this also, Brother Suleiman, we know that Kamala Harris is Indian. She's from the India, East India, she's from India rather, the continent, subcontinent of India. Uh, but she's a Hamite, a Canaanite. She's not pure black. But she is a, a, a Canaanite, uh, and I think her father was a white slave owner. Uh, Kamala Harris' father was a white slave owner down in the molasses country of Jamaica. We'll get back to that. So everybody running around, jumping up and down, thinking Kamala Harris is, is she's just pretty much like Obama. But the irony of the, now please listen to me, you know, you can hate me. I mean, I got some ugly, ugly stuff thrown at me yesterday when I posted this up because people know it's true and it hurts. It hurts deep that now people like Jimmy Carter and others are gonna to begin to say that Obama's, Ill, that tribulation Trump is illegal. And the Mueller report is gonna un, un, unequivocally demonstrate that tribulation Trump's presidency is illegal and also criminal. So it won't be long for the boy now. But I wanna I want say this, the irony of all this is that Hillary Clinton should have been president. I'm not for Hillary Clinton as president. That is not what I'm saying. I'm saying that she should have been president. And I'm saying she lost to both of these illegal clowns. And we don't have a legal president right now. We don't have a legal president until we rectify the matter. And Hillary Clinton is put in office without a vote. But the Supreme Court or the Congress or somebody in power needs to move uh, and, and vacate the presidency of, Bar of Barack Obama and vacate the presidency of Tribulation Trump. But they're not going to do it. And you know, you and I both know they're not going to do it. At any rate, my friends, I'm running for the president of Bertha's because I want to expose the deep-seated racism of what they, what they challenged Obama about, but yet they failed to lift a finger against Trump. It'd be one thing if they'd just be silent, but they are worshiping this pathological degenerate. They are worshiping this, this, they're worshiping this unredeemable con man, this rapist, this liar, this orange haired orangutan, this buffoon is being worshiped by the former birthers. I'm running, vote for me. And I'll set you free. I'm James David Manning, everybody. I'm the Lord Serpent. This is a bit of a news blog we do, looking at spiritual wickedness in high places for the most part, making uh, some observations about it and giving people a biblical foundation to the way of interpreting rather than have uh, uh, Sean Hannity or Laura Ingram or Janine Pirro or Anderson Cooper or Rachel Maydow or Don Lemon. Uh, Rush Limbaugh interpret what's going on in the world. You come to me and I'll tell you based on what the word of God says. They'll just give you their worldly sinful view. But the man will tell you what God has said, whether to say yea or nay, whether to go or to stay. You'll be led by the word of Almighty God. Come to the Manning Report on a daily basis to interpret the spiritual wickedness in high places because there's plenty of it that's going on. And so I am he, I'm the Lord, sir, James David Righteous Rebel Manning. And I'm here to serve you with news and information.